um, it's me, Christy, and this is my husband, Robert, and our baby, Toby. Uh, <laughs> he's waving. <laughs> Good news. Um, Toby, we just did this video, and now we have to remake it because Toby pulled the plug. Um, I think he was jealous. He really does get jealous when I make these videos. Um, so, eh. anyways, um, I am waiting on my OPKs to come in the mail. Um, they should be here no later than Tuesday, so I'm praying that they come in tomorrow. And, um, let's see, I'm waiting on the pre-seed to come in. I don't know when that's supposed to come in. I'm skeptical of pre-seed. <laughs> if you've tried it, which I know someone has already told me that they loved it. So, um, if you've tried pre-seed, let me know. Um, don't! Don't let him go, Robert. <laughs> well, if I block it in somewhere, he's going to um, be Anyways, while Robert's getting Toby, um, I did have a question for you guys. Um, as I said, I'm waiting on my OP case to come in. So, um, I went out and bought these from the good old Dollar Tree. One test, ready results, and three minutes. Uh, that's the back. I don't know if you can see it, if you really want to. Anyways, Dollar Tree. Um, so I bought three tests just to kind of hold me over until the others come in. Because Aunt Flo just left. Thank heaven. Robert hates when Aunt Flo I don't, is here. I don't like her. Yeah. She's not, not the favorite in the family, I guess. Um, anyways, so she's gone. Hopefully, this will be... Hopefully she won't be coming back for a while. Um, I don't really know. Um, so anyways, I bought those. I took my first OPK today. This is the results. My pee stick. Okay, the dark line. The dark line. Where? where yeah. Is the uh, control line. And then the other one, the test line. You see two, te two lines there. I see two lines. You see what two was that doing on the bathroom table? It, Anyways, Robert, it had to be here so I could show it. You peed on it. I know. No, I didn't. I put pee pee in it. Well, well I'm a, <laughs> well, I'm gonna wipe the table after we're done. Cause I okay. got some Japanese food waiting. I'm hungry. Okay. Anyways, so, um, yeah. yeah, there's two lines. Here is the back of this. You just showed them that. I know, but okay. It says on here. That two lines mean you've reached your LH surge. One line means no LH surge, and then no or er, and then zero lines means that it's invalid. I have two lines, but like I said, Aunt Flo literally just left. So um, I don't have irregular periods or anything. I'm very regular. Um, I I don't know what. What could be causing it? So let me know if any of y'all have done that. Does that mean mean I've had an LH surge? Um, I really don't know. I don't even know what LH is. It's just a little hormone little in your body. Hormone? It's a little hormone, yes. Is that what that stands for? <laughs> little hormone? No! Oh no, it doesn't. Um, well, it I mean, stands for, let's see, a uh, luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing. But we'll call it little hormone. Okay. Anyways, little hormone. <laughs> um, and it's in there and it tells you like right before you ovulate. So, and so, ovulation is when babies happen. So, yeah. Um, so, I just had that question. So, if you guys could let me know, that would be great. Um, Robert was at drill this weekend. So, I was kind of by myself. So, I took available of the time and taking charge of your fertility it's the book that I told you guys and it's pretty thick I don't know if you can tell it's a pretty big book isn't it yeah well I don't know <laughs> I haven't been reading it okay yeah Robert hasn't been reading it I'm more of a if you want to read it if you want to read it you can you can read it I will like no real pictures here no, there know. there are some pictures well there's a comic look yeah, see, there's, there's a, <laughs> there, there are little comics I, I can't tell. Can they see? No, no. Okay. But they don't but, need to see. But uh, they, why not? They'll buy the book. Just dirty. buy the book. It's uh, okay. Just buy the book. Who wrote the book? Tony Weschler. 
MPH. MPH. So, anyways, I had ordered it on textbooks.com, but for some reason, I guess they were out of it or something. Oh, so, I did not. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Robert, being the wonderful husband he is, uh, went out and bought it at a used bookstore. So, I've been reading that, and I really like it. It's not just on fertility, um, it's on like women's health just in general, which we as women, I think at all times should be educated on what's kind of going on in our bodies and everything. It's kind of interesting. Um, it talks about like how to give yourself a breast exam, um, talks about menopause, your menstrual cycle, um, certain like medications you take like Claritin and things like that. What will it do to your ovulation? What, you know, if it affects certain hormones in your body, um, just things like that. So it's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, I really like it so far. It's got some nice information in there. Um, I'm not anywhere close to finishing it yet, but I plan on finishing it at some point. Um, I'm trying to think what else to say. Um, what should we say? Oh, do you have any advice for maybe um, dads out there that are trying to conceive? Well, um, uh, the best advice I could give for, uh, you know, father, hopeful fathers and mothers is to uh, remember to enjoy each other. Um, don't make sex primarily about babies um, because that's, you know, that's a lot of pressure and it only happens like what 20 percent of the time was that 20 percent of a month that was the ratio that the, that the physician had given us and uh, yeah. it's it's designed to be fun you know i mean it's, it's designed to you know <clears throat> further the species but it's also it's also meant to be fun so have fun enjoy each other don't don't you know you can worry about babies later because when you're having it later with babies you're gonna have to steal a moment because they're always gonna be knocking on your door wanting some money or the car keys so if this is your first one just enjoy this I guess I mean I don't know from personal experience it's just what everybody's told me um yeah I, I definitely I think that's really good advice I know we talked about the other day about obsessing about you know babies and everything and I don't think we've really done that too much do you? No, no, no not lately no. No, when we first started I did a little bit um, that's how I ended up with all that baby stuff um, I still I didn't spend a lot of money on anything though like I bought stuff like I said everything came from like thrift stores and it was like 10 cents here you know 50 cents there and so, no, it was not a lot of money. And I've only bought, in the past two months, I've only bought one item. And that was that little Thanksgiving outfit that I showed you guys. So, um, the only reason I bought that was because my mom said, um, if I didn't buy it, she would buy it. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll buy it. <laughs> um, anyways, so, yeah, no, don't, like, obsess about it. Um, enjoy this time. And uh, I did get some good <laughs> advice the other day. <laughs> um, someone had said how, you know, when you're trying to have a baby, um, some good advice just to kind of keep you from getting depressed and um, make you, I guess, happy is to realize that you're working towards something. And when you have to work towards something, you appreciate it a little more and it's kind of worth the wait, I guess. Um, not to say if you didn't try and you got pregnant and you have a baby that, you know, you don't love that child or anything, you know. No, I'm not saying that at all. I just, I'm giving advice out there for those, sorry, I don't know if I'm in this, um, for those who are trying. Um, but, yeah. Um. Does Toby have anything to say? Toby, do you have anything to say? No? Do you have a flea on me? Yes, you do, baby. There's one right there. Well, we can get the fleet later. Don't forget the America here. They're waiting to hear what Christy's okay. going to say next. No, Robert was jealous because <laughs> I had made two videos without him. I was tired of living in her shadow. I was jealous of all of her fame and yes. followers that all, what, a whopping 200 
Two, well, I don't have that many subscriptions, but I do have, uh -huh. since I have 200, like, views. Well, almost 200. I don't, I don't I've never had that many. you never had that many? I've never really made a video for YouTube. <laughs> now it's your first time. Golly, this little flea. It's not even little. It's a big flea. Is that, is that all we, we had for him this week? Or today? Or? Um, I guess so. Uh, again, let me know about my pea stick. <laughs> Which is on the dining Still room on the table. table. I will clean the table, okay? <laughs> I do clean the table. You don't clean the table. Um, so, yeah. Um, just let me know. And if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know. Subscribe. I'll subscribe to you. Um... Keep the advice coming. Oh, I did buy um, grapefruit juice. I did. I'm not looking forward to this at all. But I'll let you know how that goes. <laughs> I don't like it. Ugh. Not at all. But I did buy it. So. I'm, glad I'm not trying to get pregnant. Yeah. That'd be a <laughs> list of issues there. Yeah, that's something else that this book had said, and it was really kind of, I don't think I told you, but it was kind of funny, because it said how women take the birth control mostly, like they take the pill and everything, and I know now that there is like the men's birth control pill, but um, it said like how a woman only can get pregnant in a certain, like 24 to 36 hours a month, and a man is constantly able to reproduce, so it's kind of weird that a woman takes the pill, but the man can reproduce at any time. So, kind of, <laughs> you're proud of that. So it's kind of funny. Um, I'm young, I'm virile, <laughs> I'm man. So, yeah, and I'm sorry if I look rough. I think I look rough in all of my videos, but um, I've not been feeling well. Mm. So, I, I can't say like if I have any like ovulation symptoms or anything because I just don't feel well. <laughs> I think I have some kind of like stomach virus or something. But um, no CM right now. So uh, CM. Cervical mucus. Yeah. yeah, you asked. It's like cervical snot. That's what the, uh, the alliteration there. You know what? That's gross. Cervical, cervical snot, ladies uh, and gentlemen. That's what, don't that's make what it any term. gross than it that's already what we're gonna is. Term it. That makes me wonder even more about... The pea stick that's still on the dining room table. It's still on the dining Now that's gross. All I did was say, you put a pea stick on the dining room table. And what did I do? What? What did I do? You put a pea stick on the dining room. All I said was cervical snot. Which is gross. You produce the stuff. I, I don't. Well, I can't help my that's body. Nasty. I can't help it. Okay. Well, that's, but that's, it well, helps in the baby. That's nasty. It helps in baby making. That's just nasty. So, yeah. So just praying, um, hoping several of y'all out there get your, um, your B, or what, VFP. BFP. Yeah, I was waiting for him to say it. So hopefully you guys will, because I know several people's cycles are beginning and everything, so hopefully there'll be lots of BFPs this month for Christmas. So anyways, I'll make, oh, um. While we're on the subject, um, of, of babies and this being December. I hope that all of you, I also hope that you all get to celebrate the birth of your own, your, or the, at least the conception of your own children, but let's not forget one that was born mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago who also yeah. happened to be God. Mm. That's a good thing to think of, baby. There's no punchline there. No, no punchline. Mm. So anyways, I'm running out of time, so I will let you guys go. I will make a um, OPK video as soon as I can. Um, just let me know. Anything else you need me to do? All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.